Worldwide Hippies presents Hippie News and Stuff with Winston Smith and the Worldwide Hippies News Team. Welcome to Hippie TV News and Stuff for the week of December 28th. Brought to you by WorldwideHippies.com, Citizen Journalism on the web. I am Winston Smith. Bradley Manning rides a kangaroo, kick the can politics, the doc is in, Ed Croft holiday wishes, tasers for shooting a lawnmower, hippie woman reports from Texas, Aerosmith gets booked, our asshole of the weekend more. Top story. Firing. Line here, when the state line up. Let me know when you get it. What shoot? Light them all up. Come on, fire. Hey, Roger. The preliminary hearing for Private Bradley Manning, accused of leaking classified information to WikiLeaks, ended this week after seven days. The Article 32 hearing will end with Lieutenant Paul Almanza issuing a recommendation on whether or not Manning should face a court-martial over the allegations. The defense had sought Almanza to recuse himself over a conflict of interest since he works at the Justice Department already, which is also working on a separate WikiLeaks case, Julian Assange. That request was denied. The Article 32 hearing has a much lower standard than conviction in an actual trial. And what is sure to be another kangaroo court unchallenged by corporate media and given Alma's a seemingly sympathetic view towards the prosecution, it is virtually a foregone conclusion that he will move the trial on. It is not expected that proof of torture of Bradley Manning that he had endured over a year will be allowed in any courtroom. Any real courtroom, that is. And this, Obama administration has claimed first score in latest round of kick the can politics. Successfully kicking the issue of a break in premium for Social Security insurance buyers and unemployment insurance payment extensions down the road for another two months. Sherry is a poet at heart. Her love for peace and politics and her gift of expression have made her a well-loved addition to the Worldwide Hippies team. Her eclectic spirit fuels every article. Sherry says, it's time for us again to flash the peace sign and mobilize. Well, is this the eve of destruction? Let's see what the doc thinks. What's up, doc? Hola, hippies. Good day. Buenos dias. Paz in el barrio. Winstone, my good man. Thank you for the kind words and bugs. Well, you know how we do. At the risk of sounding slightly hyperbolic on the verge of this new year, we do seem to be standing on the edge of an abyss, staring oncoming destruction right in the eye. And instead of pitching in to avert this looming disaster, it does seem to me the politicos in DC, particularly the GOP, uh, with the apparent complicity of far too many alleged Dems, seem content to stand by while some of them drive the last few nails into the plain pine boards where our Constitution is being silently interred. Remember how everybody got the vapors when Rush said and Yertle the Senator echoed how it was going to be the GOP's job for the next four years to see to it that St. Barry the Accommodating was a failure? How everyone was aghast? Although some cheered, of course. How could they, we all asked incredulously, and then they proceeded to do it. They loudly and pro proudly proclaimed the fall of Obamster to be their ultimate goal, but that claim is not supported by the party's actual deed. They have not put up as a candidate anyone who actually stands any chance of defeating Brave Sir Barry next year. Newton and Rick Perry both missed filing deadlines for the Virginia primary last week which suggests to me a certain lack of seriousness both on the parts of the candidates and of the party too. So what's really up? Well, here's my thoughts. While the attacks are nominally on Sir Barry, the brunt of the assaults and the depredations from the Bush years as well before that, it's really structural. That is, it's an assault on the very institutions and instruments. That's the Congress, the executive, and the courts, inclusive hippies by which the constitutionally empowered common folks, such as us, 
in a democratic republic, such as this one allegedly is, are supposed to be able to possibly feebly resist the final usurpation of the commons and the conquest of the state by the global corporate owner oneer oligarchy. They can't come right out and say that's what they want, not just yet anyway, but they're saying that they're going to bring down Obama, that wins them support for doing what they're doing and gives them an alibi, uncrackable damn near. The loyal opposition, yeah, say they're only doing what they have to do to defeat Obama. And they get away with it because destroying brave Sir Barry is acceptable to certainly with their base. The GOP can do anything they want if it will result in the defeat of the Negro, for some people anyhow. Bringing down the entire democratic infrastructure is not acceptable unless or except it is the unforeseen <laughs> consequence of driving that damn Negro out of town. So as we conclude another year, perhaps hyperbole is the least of our difficulties. If he's see you at the beach in the new year. Prospero Año Nuevo, todos. Now back to my pal, Wynn Stone, in Hippie Central. Thanks, Doc, for constructing that excellent lesson. Here's a good one from Palm City, Florida. 43-year-old man said to have shot at his lawnmower while intoxicated. He fought with his adult son and pulled a shotgun on the adult son. He was arrested after being shot three times with a taser, according to recent released records. Mark Tom Wack, 43 of Palm City, Florida, said it was unclear why he was being taken to jail. You fuckers tased me. For what, he said, as deputies got him under control and into handcuffs. He went on to say that he shoots in the backyard all the time and that fighting is exactly what rednecks do. Resulting incident reported. The deputies responded that tasing drunk rednecks and locking them up is what police do. And here, doing what he do is uncrossed. Oh, hey, Winston. Happy holidays. Oh, right. <laughs> Not supposed to say happy holidays. We want to put the Christ back in Christmas. Bull pucky. There's two holidays here. There's Christmas and New Year's. Somebody says to me, happy holidays. I take it they mean both. Stop the nonsense. Okay? You know, Christmas was yesterday, and... It just gets worse and worse every year. It's got nothing to do with Jesus. You know, you hear the hypocrites say, we got to put the Christ back in Christmas. But all they mean is the name. They, they want you to stop calling it a holiday tree. It's a Christmas tree and it always has been. No, actually it was a pagan tree before that. My brother Phil over on Worldwide Hippies just did an article on that. And you can go to Worldwide Hippies and read it. Fantastic article. Now, the thing is that if we were truly about putting Christ in Christmas, then we wouldn't be running around like chickens with our heads cut off trying to buy the latest and greatest gift, beating each other up in order to get it. No. We'd be going to work in the soup kitchen, helping out the poor, fighting for health care for all people. This nonsense about Obamacare, shut the hell up. Okay? It didn't go far enough. Call me a socialist if you want, but you know what? Jesus would have been right on my side. Because I put the Christ in Christmas. I care about people. I speak out for the poor, the meek, the disabled, the elderly. I get called a socialist, but you know what? If you actually stop and read the Bible, you may just find out that Jesus was too. I've read it through a number of times. <laughs> I've even read the Gnostic Gospels. And, you know, I don't think Jesus would really appreciate his name being applied to this commercial crap. It's not about Jesus anymore. It's all about corporate problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I just... 
I, I will continue to rail against Black Friday and all of this other nonsense. I love you all. My heart to your heart. One heart. One spirit. Back to you. Thanks, Ed. Mary. In music news, a new book about the band Aerosmith, written by Richard Beinstock, is out, called Aerosmith, The Ultimate Illustrated History of the Boston Bad Boy. Like this is your classic coffee table book, chock full of a treasure trove of memorabilia, color pictures of the band at all stages of their careers, and some of those early shots of the young musicians. posters, album covers, sleeves from long forgotten singles, odd souvenirs from tours, it's all there. But with a price tag of $35, you might want to wait for the movie or the paperback. Now, here with a priceless look back at 2011, is Hippie. Thanks, Winston. As 2012 approaches, Worldwide Hippies would like to join Yahoo in remembering those that we've lost this year. To you, Winston. Thanks, Hippie. We all look forward to your reports each week. Happy New Year, sister. A hippie woman in Texas? Now that's an oxymoron for sure. Well, I hear it's time for our asshole of the week, and this week it goes to Madam X, named with hell by the Washington, D.C. Police Department, apparently because she is good looking and flirty with the beer bellied law officers. Anyway, don't try this at home. Lloyd Wilkins, 49, had sex with Madam <laughs> X in his Washington, D.C. home. After they finished, the Madam X told Wilkins that she had just infected him with AIDS. Outraged, Wilkins grabbed his shotgun from his bedroom closet and pointed it at her, accidentally discharged, shooting her in the head. Wilkins then called 911, and the Madam X called a friend for a ride to the hospital. The unnamed woman underwent several surgeries and is deaf in one ear. Wilkins has pled guilty to aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during crime of violence, and possession of an unregistered firearm. 
He was not, however, infected with the AIDS virus. Her claim was a joke, she told investigators. This is why it's always best to leave the joking to professionals like myself. It is also why Speak Up I Can't Hear You, Madam X is Worldwide Hippies and of the Week. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a safe new year. Check out WorldwideHippies.com daily for more news and stuff from some of the best writers on the web. And pass this program on to all your friends and even some of your not friends. And you will see us here next year.